I have to say these tent cities that they're building across college campuses are crazy, but are really well organized. And you know I had to look into this to understand who's behind all of this and who's paying all these people. I have to be honest, what I found was not really shocking, but I was surprised by how similar it is to the BLM summer riots of 2020. You see, these encampments are actually really well organized. The students receive the tents from organizers that also supply a bunch of different food like pizzas, rotisserie chicken, coffee. So I looked into who these organizers actually are and there are three prominent groups. Students for Justice in Palestine, there's Within Our Lifetime, and then there's Jewish Voices for Peace. And these groups are actually led and organized by another organization called U.S. Campaign for Palestinian Rights. And just guess how much these fellows are paid. They get $7,800 if they work eight hours a week on some kind of Palestinian campaign. Makes you rethink what the hell you're doing with your life. And across these campuses, we've seen these fellows speak out at various events. Nita Lafi, Craig Morton, Malik Afina. So where the hell does USCPR even get this money to pay these fellows that much money? And who funds Students for Justice in Palestine and these other organizations? Here's where it really gets interesting. Almost all of their funding comes from rich, elite investors such as George Soros, Howard Horowitz, and members of the Rockefeller family. And isn't that ironic on its own? You see, George Soros's Open Society Foundation, along with Rockefeller's Brother Fund, gave $700,000 to these organizations. And we know now that the Open Society Foundation isn't run by George Soros anymore. It's actually run by his brother, Alex Soros, and his partners, Huma Abedin, with direct ties to the Muslim Brotherhood. As they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Now, the Open Society Foundation also funds $20 million into the Tide Foundation. And the Tide Foundation takes this money and disperses it across all of these organizations across the U.S. They funnel money into Westpac, which is an organization that is led by Howard Horwitz. And Westpac is actually the fiscal sponsor for Within Our Lifetime. And guess what? All of these organizations have direct ties to the 2020 Summer Love Riots. So the question I have to ask is why? Why now? Why again in the summer before a presidential election? Mm -hmm.